Well, uh, I do not know how I'm going to censor boob sword. I like whenever I have to edit uh, censor things like this for people on YouTube. They're just going to be like, oh, you, you already did this. Like, why is this even a question? Like. Let's see. Wasn't even sure if that was male or female at first. Ow. That was most definitely a lady. Those were some lady pots. Eh. Eh. I have no idea. Oh wait, no, I know exactly how to get it back. Got it. I have achieved. I have obtained the child. Be hop, be hop. Uh, let's see. Oh, I can hop up ladders for for speed and efficiency. I appreciate that. Bring out your dad. Bring out your dad so I can eat it. Ring a ding a ding a wha bam! And he dies. I don't get the point of that man. <laughs> oh boy, I showed up just at the right time. They make a comment about blasphemy, but uh, no, instead we get Tits McGee and our magical boob swords. <laughs> yeah. I got a comment yesterday. I, I talked about this a little bit on stream. But, uh, somebody had specifically, uh, told me to stop moaning and groaning. Because... Let's see. Like, stop moaning and groaning when I'm streaming and recording game gameplay and whatnot. Because, you know, gaming is for children and therefore I need to be more child-friendly with my, like... my noises, I guess. I do not know why ring a ding -a man is there, but I figure killing him is the safe plan. Uh, but like, I stood up there like, stop making like, uh noises. Because you might like offend children or something. And it very much was one of those where like, they they were absolutely, I'm gonna say sexualizing my, my, my moans just because like is it even a moan if I'm like uh why I don't that's a long stretch at all doesn't he summon enemies he probably does oh we're here cool well do we go back I guess we will yeah as a groan not a moan yeah like my my moans and groans are particularly uh not weird I feel like they're projecting a little bit. And that's what I was thinking. And I actually called them out on it and being like, that's really weird that you were, you were, you know, implying that my, my groans are in any way, shape or form, not safe for kids, but also like, no kid is going to hear me go, uh, and, and think of something naughty. They're going to, they're going to see uh, tits swing in the wind in a video game or like a movie and think of something like I I myself am barely the harbinger of corruption as far as you know oh I'm t I'm taking oh the the gas hurts So let's go let's go back and find shop uh wait no I do not have enough money for shop gate late uh shop lady because I want to get the uh poison thing let's see my niece who just turned two, two learned from someone that to lift heavy objects you get someone to help you count to three and they go ah super cute I'm pretty sure that's a uh that's actually from fire emblem at least uh that was Raphael's advice to, uh, to Flayne. Which is specifically, like, 
you know, you need a battle cry or something when you're lifting heavy stuff. And let me just tell you, that scene was probably the cutest scene in the entire game. And there were some pretty dang cute scenes. Gaffoid of Fierce, the leper. But, like, I wish the person had found, like, my first episode of Blasphemous or, like, something where it's a little bit more, uh, overtly... I'm gonna say sexualized or, like, straight up just nudity. Or just weird and uncomfortable, as opposed to just going after my groans of all things. Because I would absolutely accept somebody maybe pointing at this game and being like, It's corrupting the youth! At which point I point at them and it's like, this game is overtly religious. Uh, allegorical for Christianity for the most part, but still. Uh, let's see. Let's see, I'm getting three houses? I already I already played three houses. Oh, wait, no. Somebody else's. I, I've already played uh, the Golden Deer route of three houses. I don't think I'm going to play any of the other ones, admittedly. Yeah, so the bellman here just summons the other guys. That's why you want to kill him. Makes perfect sense, honestly. But yeah, I absolutely need that poison resistance thing if I want to come back here. Uh, let's keep wandering around. There's got to be another route or location I can go. I like this. I like this soundtrack. It's very low-key. Ow. That hurt. It looks pretty good. It is pretty good. Okay. So we've got to be a little bit wary of... Ow! Whoa! Holy crap! Do not be near that guy when he goes pop, because holy crap. Oh, let's see... Oh, and I gotta go back for my... my... Fragments of guilt. I mean, I don't have to. There's, there's other ways to get it. But if I want to save up the money, I should probably go for it. Well, today I learned. But yeah, I, I'm enjoying this game thoroughly. It's a it's a Souls-like Metroidvania, but there's a lot of shortcuts. It's not too hard yet. Obviously, I'm dying a lot, but it's more trial and error than, like... You know, the really dangerous things are, are pretty obvious and easy to avoid. There's not a whole lot of time lost backtracking. And since you don't lose all your stuff, uh, Dark Souls-style, when you die sequentially... It's not so bad. I'm noticing I'm having trouble getting my controller to recognize which direction is the correct direction, but that's okay. Let's ignore Bellman for the time being. I can kill him. But I'm not sure if he's worth it. Ah, uh, let's see. Could go all the way to the right. Ow. I deserve that. Oh, getting your guilt fragment back heals you. Oh, I'm safe right... No, I'm not. Uh, 
Okay. There we go. Might as well heal. And we are good. But yeah, the other thing I wanted to... The other point I wanted to make, I guess, that bugged me about the this comment accusing me of having overly sexualized groans, which is hilarious. Is... Games are absolutely not made for kids. Holy shit. I mean, this game would be so metal to play as a child. But at the same time, uh, my if my parents saw like half this shit that I've done so far, they would have probably taken the game away. Ow, ow, ow. Avoid the damage. Hi. Refill empty? Billiard? Yes. Hey. Okay, so you can take extra bile vessels to that thing, fill it back up again, and that's how you get more healing items. I'm really liking these secrets. Unfortunately, I can't get to that one. Ah. I think we need like a double jump or some ability to get up there. There we go. Seriously, ladder climbing. Freaking underrated mechanic in a lot of games. Usually when I'm near a ladder, I'm like, ugh, God, I hate, I hate these things. They're either slow or unfun to traverse. This one I just like hopscotch right up. Going down is less fun, but since there's no falling damage, who cares? Okay. Gonna take a little bit of damage here and there, but that's okay. Yeah, double jump or wall climb. Yup. I probably should have gone back the other way and got whatever shortcut that was open. But you know what? Speaking of shortcuts, there's one. Kill the rats. Can't really kill the rats. I'm trying to see if we can get a shortcut to Alberto or something. Looks like maybe I can. Also a big door there. I'll check it out later. I don't know what I'm expecting. I don't think there's wall wall chicken in this game. Hmm. Anybody know if Dark Devotions had any new updates or if that hi? So yep, we are in Alberto proper. Perfect. And I'm pretty sure this is Merchant Lady again. Who lives in the cracks in the walls and then never mind this is most definitely not Cracktown. Oh This is the place to store all of our bone bits. There's a lot of bone bits in this game. Now this is a speedrun game if I've ever seen one. Holy shit it is. It's got it's got the type mechanics. It's got the, the type platforming. It's got a slide instead of a backdash, which feels so much better. But yeah, I could I could absolutely see this being at uh, AGDQ. If somebody was particularly passionate about uh, getting their, their speedrun skills up to par uh, for this game quick. But like, 100% perfect for it too. The only problem would be the, t uh, would be the boobs. And honestly, as silly as it sounds, I'd almost say like, the developers would be smart to add a, uh, add a, uh, oh, it's all the way up there. That's actually kind of rough. Uh, smart to add like a streamer mode to this game or like a YouTube friendly mode. To, uh, to specifically 
uh, you know, facilitate speedrunners for AGDQ. Because the one fear is I could see AGDQ not wanting a lot of this stuff. But yeah, AGDQ, uh, awesome games done quick. Uh, also known as effectively one of the two main Northwestern, I can't do that without, uh, without a wall jump or a double, double jump. I guess we'll come back later. Uh, but it's, it's one of the two main North American speed running. I'd say competitions, but it's not really a competition. It, it's just a festival. And they're awesome. If you ever get the chance uh, to go to an AGTQ, uh, they're absolutely worth the time. I'd like to go. I might see if I can get in contact with... Uh, well, I need to get in contact with uh, a speedrunner and like start making some friends. Because I'd totally love to go to a, a speedrun... Uh, well, to an AGTQ and just be like a couch guy. I don't think I'd be particularly interested in, you know, speedrunning anything just due to shitty hands. But it'd be pretty fun to just hang out on the couch and just, like, make dumb jokes for, like, a two, three hour speedrun. Kind of them to wait for each other to fight. But yeah, uh, to, I guess, further explain the event, uh, AGDQ and SGDQ, and there's also a European one. There's a, there's a couple of these. There's also one for, like, uh, Taskbot-related speedruns and so on and so forth. Uh, but it's usually, like, what, five days long? Full week long, give or take? Uh, but you effectively... Uh, it's on Twitch every year. But effectively, speedrunners just are all scheduled up. And we'll cover whatever their their chosen game is. Well, there's that there. It's inconvenient. The poison gas doesn't hurt that bad. But I'd like to avoid it if at all possible. I'm just gonna go oh. Oh, that is unfriendly. Awful game block is one of the best ones. Yep. I think uh, this year I really thoroughly enjoyed the Shrek block. Uh-oh. This is fatal. Problem is the awful block desperately needs like really good commentators. And if you're not a good commentator, the awful, uh, the awful block is not very fun. Okay, so we either need poison resistance or double jump to get through that one. All that parry practice really has paid off. Admittedly near death, but that's fine. Well... This kind of... This... This sucks. I guess we go up. Okay. Uh, secret here? That was worth a shot. Doesn't look like there's one under the water, but I should double check. Nope. There we go. I slide under the gap in the water. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Let's wait on that one. I'm not being particularly brave right now, because near death. There we go. Took a little bit for that one to trigger. Okay, so where am I going? Up and all the way to the left. On the plus side, enemies do not respawn on a per-room basis. That guy's still there because I forgot to kill him. Luckily, his hitbox is kind of limited, so he has yet to actually uh, hurt me. So I'll just, I'll just leave him be, at least for now. Uh, let's see. I just have to worry about the drippy bits. But yeah, it's always fun to play a game and specifically be like, 
Man, this game would actually be really cool as a speedrunning game. I think... Holy crap. Mountains of Endless Dusk. This is, uh... This place is suck. Okay, so the weird bull men throw spears. On the plus side, they're not very strong. Metacarpals of Hodges, the blacksmith. Seriously, though, this game is stupidly well balanced. Like, every enemy it kind of has a hard counter. <laughs> well, that is my mistake. And I'm fine with that. <laughs> Oops. Alright, where do I want to go? Uh, uh, shoot. You know what? I'm actually not sure what's over that direction. Uh, it's gonna take me forever to get back there. But that's fine, because we can warp around anyway. Uh... <laughs> Ow, I forgot about these guys. They respawned. I don't really know if they give too much. But that's okay. Okay. Yeah, can somebody clip that if they're not uh if we don't already have one incoming? Because that was that was pretty good. I was like, I'm gonna kill this bird, and I neither I I neither succeeded at killing the bird nor living through the process. So uh <laughs> oops. fine. But yeah, this will be the game I point to for a while, where I'm like, tight game mechanics make a huge difference. Uh, sometimes it's fine to have a really floaty game, but like, this feels freaking fine-tuned. And I'm gonna keep saying that until it stops being, whoops. Yeah, I can't go that way until we get the poison resistance. Like, I guess as weird as it might sound, this is actually closer to what I wanted Dead Cells to be. I I know everybody really loved Dead Cells. I thought it was alright, but it always felt a little bit too roly-poly for me. Ow. Where the enemies hit like trucks, you hit like trucks. And you had to, like, roll like a madman constantly to survive and stuff. I'm just gonna wait for him to come a bit closer. Oh, that's just inconvenient. Is gonna damage boost past those guys. We're gonna go find the bell man. Because finding the bell man solves that problem. Hello, chest. We found an empty bio vessel. Heck yeah. So is gravity my hard counter? One of them. I didn't actually play a whole lot of games growing up where gravity was uh, much of an issue. Uh, I'm trying to think of it. Like, honestly, gravity was more of a mechanic in the games I played when I was a kid. The only one I can think of that had pits of death was specifically Mega Man. And he almost never did drop attacks in that one because everything was on the horizontal. Okay, so... We got another bile vessel. Not really progress, though. Let me look at this. So really, at this point, we pretty much need to go back down. Until I get that poison resistance, there's not much I can do here. Well, we could go back down, or we could push on... Because we've got that, uh... We've got that cistern thing over here to get the next bile vessel filled up. 
I'd like to save my money for poison resistance, but... Seems like it's in my best interest to get more HP instead. You wish to ring the bell, do you? Well, go ahead, be my guest. I have nothing to do with you anymore. Farewell! Come on, drop the goop. Thank you. At some point, I will hook somebody else into playing Dark Souls with me again. Then I can make a whole new batch of dumb memes. That's a really cool... That's a really cool animation. Oh, gets more expensive every time. Eh, that's fine. Okay. We. Oops. Didn't quite clear it. Is this the right way? Yeah, it is the right way. Because I can't go that other way. It leads to nothing. Let's see. Any plans for future games tonight? Uh, still gonna play Children of Morta and Astral Chain. I realize I've, I've been overdoing it lately, and I think I'm going to continue to do so, at least for a little while. I just have too many games on my list right now. And it makes it a little hard for me to play other things. Well, not play other things, finish games. But I'm kind of committed. I mean, I'm, I'm super committed to finishing everything that I possibly can. Uh, let's see. Because yeah, we need 1,500 for that poison resistance. Eeh. Eeh. Whoa. Uh, I wonder when all the DLC is going to be out for, um... Well, the bird seems to just be... An inconvenience. There we go. Holy crap, that does damage. I think there's anything over here. So we still have Death Bird. It was like a hot second where I'm capable of being hit there, but that's okay. Hello. Oh, hey, these are the ones I can stick my sword into. Come, Dongulus. Ow. Okay, so he is dead. He hurt, but he is dead. I'm gonna get rid of the murder birds. Oh, that whole thing is just one. This place is kind of mean. Well, shoot. There we go. Ow. Didn't die. Now dead. Okay. So far, so good. Well, shit. 
That guy hurts. This is why I got four biles. Instead of one. Okay, so let's try that again. I wonder if I can parry it. Okay, so I can parry it. Eesh. I really think you'd like free these people instead of just further burning them. It's not a boss, interestingly enough. Because if she was a boss, she'd have a health bar. A rad mid-boss, though. There we go, the sister. We've acquired... Perpeptives per, per something. Oh, sweet tree. You have no available offerings. Ooh. She's your main romantic interest in this game. Not anymore, she ain't! Unless she still is, at which point. Oh. 